Hello everyone, welcome back to Talented Developer. In today's video, we are going to learn how to display prime number between two intervals in Java. So first of all, let's understand our requirement. So we are going to get here two input like three and seven. So this will be our starting and this will be our ending number and we have to find like in between interval how many numbers are prime number so what is prime number a prime number that means it can divisible by one or the same number if you want to understand in depth you can watch this video so how many numbers are there in between like three to seven so i can say here three four five six seven so these number we are going to get in these number we have to check like 3 is prime or not 4 is prime or not similarly 7 is prime or not so first of all we understand we have to get the number like this number then this number so what we can do we can declare as a first number as a start and this number we can say here end you have to make sure a start will be less than end so a start will be always smaller than the end number so we have to first of all iterate this so we are going to write one for loop in this for loop we'll try to declare in i will start from the start that means this variable and it will go till what till end and it is increment way because three four five it is going on the top so i can say here i plus plus so what will be happen here it will start from the start start means what we'll get first time here three then Till less than n. So next time we'll get 4, then 5, then 6, then 7. So we have to check here 3 is prime or not. So how many number is less than or equal to 3? So 1, then 2, then 3. Take another example like how many number will be less than 6? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1 is coming common for everyone here, right? So we can ignore 1. So we can start from what? 2. And we have to go till what? Whatever value we are going to get here. Here means what? A starting point. So what we can do here? We are going to write another for loop because we have to find all the number less than of the start. So here what we'll do? We'll just say like J need to start from the 2 because 1 is common for everyone and this j will be less than equal to what i i means like a starting point and this j will be what increment way so i am saying like no need to go till here i because just take example 6 3 can divide 6 here but after that no one can divide like 4 5 so i can say here number is not divisible more than its half Half is like till first half only can divide 6. After that, no one can divide. You can ignore this same number here. So I can say here i divided by 2. So now what will be happen? Here i value will be what? 3. So j is 2 and i value is what? 3 divided by 2. So we can write here condition if i modulus of 2 equal equal 0 that means if we are going to get remainder as a 0 then we can say like this is not prime at all so once this for loop will be end here we are going to write one sys out statement and we will print here either i number is prime or not so we will try to declare one boolean and by default we will inside boolean as a true so whenever the number will be divided we will make that boolean as a false and we will try to break that for loop so i know it is little bit confusing so please don't be confused we will write the code so you will understand easily so first of all we need two input here right so we are going to ask this input from the user so what we can do we are just going to use here a scanner class using this one we can get input from the user here you can pass system dot in and you can import this scanner class so now a scanner is ready using this one we are going to get input from the user so let's ask input from the user so what we can do just use sys out and we can say here enter a start number or i can say 
inter start interval both are same here and here you can declare one integer start and it is going to store your starting number so you can use scanner.next int similarly just copy and paste this one and you can say here in number so we got our start number we got our in number let's run you can see here a start number we can enter 3 and in number is what 7 so it's working fine now our challenge is what we have to get what are the number in between this interval like 3 4 5 6 7 so how we'll get we are going to use here one for loop so let's come down and declare one for loop i can say in i will we start from what a start number that means whatever the number we are going to get in the start number and i will be less than equal to end because we have to start from here and we have to end at this value and this will be what increment way so let's try to print this number just print i i can see here start number is 3 in number is 7 so you can see 3 4 5 6 7 now our challenge is what 3 is prime or not 4 is prime or not 5 is prime or not we have to check so if you remember this diagram we have to write another for loop in this for loop we'll check like okay that number is prime or not so if you notice as i said one is common in all those numbers so that's why we have to start from what j value 2 so let's come and create another for loop and say here int j it will start from the 2 and it will go till what j less than equal to i we are not going to use divided by 2 we'll see later and i can say here j plus plus so using this approach first of all what will get the value if i give a start as a 3 then i value will be here 3 so this number it will go what it will start from the 2 and it will go till this number that means here 3 so try to give your condition if i modulus of j equal equals to 0 then it will show like okay this number is not prime so for now i can just try to print here not prime try to run and see whether we are going to get this value or not if i give a start number as a 3 and in number as a 7 you can see what is showing here it is creating confusion so just comment this one and try to give here i value also at least we'll know like okay this number is prime or not so 3 then 7 you can see here 3 is not prime 4 is not prime 4 is not prime 5 is not prime because we are not breaking at all so that's why it is keep printing 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 so if you have little bit idea about prime number then definitely we'll say like no oh, 3 is prime number but why your program is showing here 3 is not prime so let's debug and i will tell exact reason at all so when you will run on that time first time what will be happen here try to give the input you can see here your start number is what 3 and j will be 2 and here what will be happen we'll get here i as a 3 and j as a 2 so next time what will be happen again you can see here i will be same 3 but j value will be also here 3 that's why it is showing 3 is not prime either you can change this condition or you can just use divided by 2 so let's remove this one and again run this one 3 then 7 see here 4 is not prime 6 is not prime and 6 is not prime so let's break this one no need to again go inside that one 3 then 7 4 and 6 is not prime but we have to know like which number is here prime that's why i told you we have to use some kind of boolean using that boolean we can print a second for loop so let's come here and define one boolean so i can say it is prime equal to true so i'm expecting here all the number whatever number we are going to get in this for loop will be prime in case if it is not prime definitely it will come in this condition so i can say here just is prime equal to false and once that for loop is in we can just use if condition and just say like if is prime is true that means that a start number is here prime so let's run the start number is here 3 in number is here 7 
so you can see 3 is prime 4 is not prime again 3 is prime why it is showing here 3 because no need to mention here a start because a start will be here always the starting number so just change with i 3 then 7 you can see here 3 is prime 4 is not prime 5 is prime 6 is not prime 7 is prime so you can see which number is prime now you can comment this one and let's run and you can give this time different value so i can say here 3 and let's go till 16 so here 3 is prime 5 is prime 7 is prime 11 is prime 13 is prime so you understand like how we have done one by one why i said here try to give divided by 2 because if you try to print here j value it will take some more time so if you want to write your program efficient way just try to use divided by 2 it will not impact your code at all just give your same value you can see here 3 4 5 7 so now you can see right it is showing 3 is prime fine but why it is showing 4 is prime just think here because we have removed our condition equal to so this is small small thing i have done the mistake so you'll understand that's why you have to write step by step you'll try to do some mistake then you'll learn from your mistake now you can run again 3 and go till 16 3 is prime, 5 is prime, 7 is prime, 11 is prime and 13 is prime. So you understand like what we are doing. So first of all, we are getting the starting number. Then we are getting the ending number. And after that, we are trying to iterate all the number from the start till end. So that value will be inside the i. And again, that i is prime or not. So that's why we have to get the i number and we have to get all the number that will be less than of i. And that means here i will be 3. Then we have to get all the number 1, 2, 3. Then if i number is 6. We have to get all the number and once we got i and j value then we are checking if the modulus is zero then definitely this number is not prime at all and why we have used this boolean you understand it and after that we are printing all the prime number so this is a way to print the prime number in case if you don't want to do this one you can write another thing here also just give a space and run it three nine you can see three five seven if you want to get all the value in the same line just run 3 8 3 5 7 is here prime number you can add your string tag here also this this number is prime so i hope you understand it that's it for the day thank you